and for this month's selection build is going to be aeroplanes a build and play set a spitfire and the red arrows let's go and see what they look like off we go and the first play model is going to be the build and play set it's 130 parts 4 plus 4 year olds upwards let's have a look at the model it is done it's a nice decent model size plenty of rubber parts here for the canal it's very well designed the only thing I have come across here for the child for when he's bending this round to make the shape of the plane is the nuts and the bolt you need a bit of pressure on it figure it so you need an hat up there to give him a quick lift but the rest you can manage yourself look little eyes on it the propeller turns so that's a nice introduction to Meccano for the young ones now let's go on to the Spitfire and the next model is Meccano Spitfire special edition set it's got 319 parts in it it's age 8 plus for building so let's have a look at it uh, does it look like what it shows you on the box cover? Let's find out. Off we go. Well, here's the Spitfire done. Let's have a look at the model. First, the length from the tip of the player to the tail end is about 13 inches long. The wing spans 15 inches in length. Let's have a look underneath the model. See, it's got wheels, these fold in. I can see. Also, you can notice they've got yellow perforated strips. I I don't know why. I would change them into zinc, that's what I'd like to do. Wheels, I would change them to white ones, you can get them now. Also, a very typically propeller, you got a yellow one there as well. So I'm going to change that into white. Oh, definitely black, I think, that one. The bolts, you could change them into black, that's an option you could do. I did have one small problem here with the flexible plate. Originally on this bit here, hole, would have been an uh, axle rod going through with two little rubbers at each end. And they kept flipping off, so what I've done here, you can see an extra bolt there, I used inside it a number 48, and that stops your problem. Also, the tail end here, where your wheel is, that was a bit flimsy. So what I've done here, originally the bolt was one of these, goes right through. So I replaced it with a normal bolt, onto your number 12. Take your little tail off here, easy to do, no problem there. All in all, a nice model, it's got room in here for a little motor if you want to have the propeller work on its own. An option there. Well, you could, and the old uh, balsa wood players we used to have, use a little lucky like band and wind your propeller up and let it go. You've got room there with the axle rod right onto it. Oh, and all, wonderful model. Now, let's go on to the red arrows. Off we go. And here is now the final model, the Red Harold's Hawk. It's over 200 parts in it. Let's have a look at it. It looks like on the box, lovely model. The length of it is 28 centimeters long, and the wingspan is 23 centimeters long. It's um, age 8 plus. I've um, here, this part here, I've altered it by putting a little cockpit seat in there which you don't have in the model so a simple design you bought it here so as well set in there there you go do and also here at the back of the tail on the plans it's two long bolts 
So I'll replace them with normal bolts. I use a box spanner so you can get your nuts on to your bolts. Now here you've got a little axle rod with two little rubbers, one each side. You pull that out and you can take the wings off and you're in the carriage I would say with the model if you wanted to but I'm gonna somehow bolt them on later on. A nice little fine model indeed the Red Arrows which the team formed in 1965 for your information so I'll leave it for that note so thank you for watching the video about planes bye for now